This is a very informative video about the doshas or seven body types simply understood. In Arabic, tabsit mafhum sabi anwa min ad doshas. So let's get started. Please show the language translation below the video. Yumkinuka idhar tarjama balugh al arabiya as far the video. The information in this video is based on ancient science and common sense derived from Ayurveda. It is not intended to be a substitute for medical advice. So what are the doshas? A dosha is that which can cause problems in the human body. There are three primary doshas, vata, pitta, and kapha. Vata means wind in English. Pitta means bile in English. Kapha means phelum in English. In Arabic, vata is a rih. Pitta is asafra and kappa is al-balgam. Let's take a look at the three primary doshas and the doshas seven body types. The three primary doshas are vata, kappa, pitta, as we explained before. But then there is an overlap between them. The overlap creates not just three body types, but seven body types. Let's take a look. So with this overlap, we end up with an overlap between vata, pitta, from pitta, kappa, and between vata, kappa, and therefore and we have uh, a seventh overlap, and that's the uh, where all three meet in the same place. So, therefore, the seven body types are Vata, Pitta, Kappa, Vata, Pitta, Pitta, Kappa, Vata, Kappa, and Vata, Pitta, Kappa. So, there's seven body types. How do you know which body type you are? You can take the online quiz for the doshas. The three primary doshas versus the five elements of nature. The five elements of nature, as you may know, are ether, air, fire, water, and earth. In Arabic, ether is al-athir, air is al-hawa, fire is al-nar, water is al-ma, and earth is a turab When we combine the three primary doshas with the five elements of nature, we get a relationship that travels between the each of the doshas and the, each of the earth elements and of course between the, the elements in themselves. So vata is primarily earth and air elements. Pitta is fire and water. Kappa is water and earth. And when we combine the ether and the air element, we get movement such as when you have air, air in empty space. When you combine the air and the fire element, you get light. When you combine the fire and water element, you get transformation. When you combine the water and the earth element, you get cohesion. And when you combine the earth and the ether element, you get cold, cold space basically, and earth. So let's take a look at the three primary doshas versus the six tastes. The first is a vata dosha. Vata dosha is composed of the ether and the air elements. It is therefore lightweight, windy, cold, dry, and subtle. Vata is in balance when consuming sweet, pungent, sour, and salty tastes also hot, heavy, and wet. Vata is out of balance when consuming bitter and astringent tastes, also light, cold, and dry tastes. Let's talk about the Pitta Dosha. Pitta Dosha is composed of the fire and water elements. It is therefore sharp, hot, oily, liquid, and bold. Pitta is in balance when consuming sweet, bitter, and astringent tastes. Also, heavy, dry, and cold tastes. Pitta is out of balance when consuming sour, salty, and pungent tastes. Also, hot, oily, and wet. The third dosha is the Kappa dosha. Kappa dosha is composed of the water and earth elements. It is therefore heavyweight, cold, oily, smooth, soft, and dense. 
Kappa is balanced when consuming the pungent, bitter, and astringent tastes. Also lightweight, hot, dry, and subtle tastes. Kappa is out of balance when consuming sweet, sour, and salty tastes. Also heavy, cold, wet tastes. Is there a relationship between doshas and chakras? It turns out there is. So, because each of the earth elements, ether, air, fire, water, and earth, are related to the chakras, therefore that creates a relationship between the vata, pitta, kappa. So, vata is uh, mainly ether and air elements, and those are the uh, elements of nature that uh, promote healthy throat chakras and heart chakras. Pitta is primarily fire and water elements, and therefore it promotes the health of the navel chakra and the genital chakra. Kappa is primarily made up earth and water, and therefore it promotes the health of the genital chakra and the root chakra. So ether is under the throat chakra, ether is weightless, it's the source of all elements, it's cold, dry, immobile, and omnipresent. It's basically space, it's everywhere. Heart chakra, air is uh, lightweight, it's about communication, it's about breathing, nerves, movement, love, compassion, and light. The fire element, which is the predominant element for pitta promotes the health of the navel chakra so fire is about energy digestion disease prevention intelligence detox and it's oily the water element which supports both the pitta and the kappa doshas promotes the health of the genital chakra and water is heavy uh, it's about body liquids it's a solvent, it's about joints, creativity, saliva, blood, sweat, urine, and semen. Kappa, last but not least, is made up of the earth and water elements, it supports the root chakra, and uh, also the genital chakra, and it's a, uh, earth. the earth element is very heavy, it's grounding, it's about survival, calming, it's about bone and muscle structures, and it's about tissues as well. Let's move to the doshas versus the food tastes. So this is an exciting part of the video where we talk about which food promotes the different flavors. As you may have seen in the previous video regarding the six tastes, there are six tastes. And they are sweet, sour, salty, pungent, bitter, and astringent. The sweet tastes give the flavor of grounding, nourishing, satisfaction. Sweet foods do not include processed foods with excessive sugar. We're not talking about the bakery section, okay? Here we're talking about naturally sweet food. Examples include milk, ghee, yogurt, fruits, grains, root vegetables, eggs, nuts, seeds, oils, and low-fat meats. Sweet taste is aggravating to the kappa dosha. Naturally sour foods gives a lemon flavor. So examples include lime or lemon juice, vinegar, kimchi, sauerkraut, cheese, sour cream, etc. Sour fruits include green grapes, oranges, pineapples, and grapefruit in moderation. Sour taste awakens the mind, the senses, improves digestion, promotes energy, moistens the body, and eliminates wind or gas or bloating. Sour taste is aggravating to the pitta dosha. Naturally salty food is derived from sea salt, obviously, and natural mineral salt. Savory or salty flavors is about ensuring that the food has some salt in it, but not excessively salty. Salt stimulates the appetite and enhances digestion. It retains the essential body water for hydration 
It supports proper elimination and improves the flavor of food. Salty taste aggravates the pitta dosha. Let's talk about pungent foods. Pungent foods are spicy, hot flavors such as chilies, radishes, turnips, and hot spices. And of course, ginger and cinnamon. The pungent taste is hot, dry, and light, and is extremely drying to the body. Pungent taste aggravates the pitta and the vata doshas. When it comes to naturally bitter foods, these foods have flavor that uh, are given by the flavor of the leafy, ve- leafy greens, leafy vegetables. So examples include dark leafy greens, eggplant, bitter melon, dark chocolate, dandelion, artichoke, scale, and grape leaves. Bitter taste is cooling, rough, drying and light. Bitter taste is aggravating to the vata dosha. Last but not least is the naturally astringent food flavors which is given by the which gives the the taste of dryness in the mouth. Uh, So examples include lettuce, pomegranate, persimmons, green bananas, green apples, garbanzo beans or chickpeas, artichokes, broccoli, cauliflower, black beans, black-eyed peas. The astringent taste is dry, cold, heavy, and rough. The astringent is aggravating to the vata dosha. Now, is there a relationship between the zodiac signs and the five elements of nature? Apparently there is. If you ever watched a video on astrology, you would know that there are zodiac signs that are either uh, earthy, watery, fiery, or airy. So which ones are they? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius are the air signs. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius are the fire signs. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces are the water signs. And Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn are the earth signs. And therefore, they will embody the qualities of that element of nature. And this, this relates to the doshas. Okay, so last but not least... How does the uh, zodiac signs relate to the doshas? The pitta dosha relates to the, the fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. The vata dosha relates to Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Kappa dosha, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. But then we have the tri uh zodiac signs such as Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. So if you like this video and would like to know what your dosha body type is, please take the online quiz. You can simply just Google it. It's it's a dosha quiz online and you'll be able to take it. Uh, Many of those quizzes are free of charge. Once you find out that what your body type is, you can come back to this video again, watch it again, and you can determine which foods and which tastes are appropriate for your body type in order to balance and the doshas and maintain your body health. We hope that you enjoyed this video and find it informative. And if you did, please feel free to subscribe to this channel and leave a comment below about any topic that you would like us to cover in the future. Thank you and take care.